Hey what's up guys Rizal here in this video I'm gonna show you how to open a business paper account from Turkey this is completely legal and also I have received lots of questions regarding this issue therefore I decided to make this video happen now let's get started this video has five parts it will be a bit longer than usual so please be patient I will take you through all the steps first what is a business PayPal account second how to open a company either in the US or in the UK third get a UK business bank account fourth open a business PayPal account and fifth the last part question and answer if you want you can skip any part of this video now let's get started with the first part what is a business paypal account when you are considering starting a business online it does not matter what kind of business you want you will need paypal account because paypal is the biggest payment processor in the world if you are building funnels in click funnels have a store in the shopify ebay or have a woocommerce website and need to collect payments online PayPal plays a huge role in those areas when it comes to payment processing. There are around 377 million active users of PayPal and it shares around 22% of online transactions in the US. PayPal supports more than 200 countries and regions and supports 25 currencies. 87% of online buyers use PayPal. Unfortunately, in 2016, PayPal ceased its service in Turkey, but as an online business owner, you are still able to open a PayPal account. In order to open a business PayPal account, you need to open a company either in the US or in the UK. I recommend you go with a UK company because it costs less and has less headaches than the US company. If you still want to open a US company, check out another video of mine on this channel which I will share its link somewhere in the description section of this video if you are really serious about your online business then you need to form a company because without forming a company your business will be limited to do things less than your real capacity now let's come to our second step how can you open a UK limited company first of all you must know or be familiar with what limited company is I will share with you some brief information about limited company it is a type of company that is treated completely separate from its owners can have one or more than one owners example if the company went through some sort of problem it would only affect the company's assets and not its owners personal assets what is SIC code? It stands for Standard Industrial Classification. It basically classifies which industry you are in and it is used for tax purposes. E-commerce and online retail SIC code is 47910. What are the company responsibilities and structure? If it is a UK limited company, you are asked to assign three roles directors, shareholders and company secretaries. If you are alone, you can assign yourself for all the three roles. How about the cost? Each year you need to submit an annual confirmation statement which basically shows any changes in your company structure, such as shareholders, directors and secretaries. And its cost is around 13 GBP. And the other cost is accountant, if you want to get one. But it is not mandatory. Software accountant is also an option. Now let's talk about taxes. Unlike sore traders, limited companies don't pay income tax and national insurance. Instead, they pay corporation tax on their profits. The current rate is 19%. Read more about taxing in the article that is shared in my website. Please make sure that I am not a government attorney or any government certified agent. What I have shared in this video regarding company formation and taxing is for educational purposes only. I am not an expert in this area. What I share with you is just from my domain of experience. 
Please make sure you research all the information mentioned in this video. Thank you. In order to form your company in the UK, go to this website. You can reach this website via the link that I have shared in the description section of this video. First Formations is a UK company that gives services such as forming a UK corporation, postal addresses, and some other business related services. I have personally opened two companies with this company. I am totally satisfied with them. The cost of running a UK limited company is way cheaper and easier than a US or even Turkish company. The initial cost of a UK limited company is not more than 20 GBP. If your company is an established one, then you have frequent mails and you need to have an agent in the UK. That cost might be up to 100 sterling pound in a year. If you have just begun your online e-commerce business, probably you will not need it. Therefore, you can get a UK postal address from a warehouse and posting company such as forward2me.com. That's all about company formation. The next step is to have a business bank account. UK banks require you to be in person in the UK in order to open a business bank account. But there is an easy way to get a business bank account. It is voice.com. You can open both a personal and a business banking account via WISE. They have a very fantastic service. I just love their service. In addition to UK bank account details, you can get 8 more bank account details as of today such as USD, Canadian Dollar, Australian Dollar, Euro and Singapore Dollar and also some other currency. I will share all the necessary links with you in the description section of this video. Now let's open a business PayPal account. After you got your company formed and your bank account from WISE, by using that information go to paypal.com forward slash UK and sign up for a business account. Here enter your email address and set up the password. In this section add your business information such as your legal full name and business legal name. Surprisingly, business accounts allow you to add a Turkish phone number. In the address section write your business registered address. And also, I recommend you to upload your passport for identity verification if they ask for it. I will not open an account again because I have already opened one. Now let me show you what it looks like. After setting up your account, connect your WISE account to your PayPal account. You can add either your personal WISE account or business one. If you could get bank details for your business account, great. If not, you can connect your personal account details. It will just work fine. I have already connected my voice account. Let me connect one more account just to show you. All right, PayPal sent a code with 0 0.01 GBP to my account. Let me add that code. Boom, it is connected successfully. Now let's come to the last part of this video, which is question and answer. Do I need VPN? No, you don't need VPN. PayPal adds limitation on my account what to do. It is probably because you haven't provided them with your identity verification. It can be a national card, driver license, or maybe passport. 
I recommend you to add your passport if you have it. Will my account get closed in the future using this method? The answer is no and yes at the same time. As far as you follow the rules and policies of PayPal, your account is safe. How can I withdraw my money from PayPal account? You send it to your Wise account for free and then convert it to Turkish Lira. Afterwards, you send it to your Turkish bank account such as Zirat Bank, Ish Bank, Ak Bank or any other Turkish bank. My payments are done in USD, but the PayPal account is in GBP. Does it work? Yes, it does work. You can get payments in any currency which is supported by PayPal. At the same time, you can change your PayPal primary currency from currency settings in your PayPal account. Is this method legal? Yes, it is legal. PayPal seized its service for Turkey in 2016. It means it will not be integrated with the Turkish banks anymore. But it does not mean no service for Turkish nationals. Does PayPal ask for address verification? No, they won't ask from normal accounts. PayPal typically asks for this information when you have reached or are close to reaching the receiving limit on your account. Assuming your account is verified, there is no limit on receiving money. However, there is a cap on transaction amount. It is $10,000. If someone were to send you $20,000, they would have to send two transactions of $10,000 each. They cannot send $20,000 at the same time. That's it guys. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section or hit me with an email. Thank you for your attention and have a great great time.